don't poke. Nance, Dr. Beastie. Yo, what's happening, guys? Dr. Beastie here, back with another video. And sorry for that noise in the background. It's my fan. It's really hot upstairs. It's like close to 90 degrees. It was a really warm day. Very interesting because for the last couple weeks, it's been below 70. And no, I don't mean it's been negative 70 degrees. I mean it's been lower than 70 degrees Fahrenheit. But anyways, guys, in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to, uh, I know, pretty crazy, Dr. Phil. I'm going to be reacting to a Dr. Phil video titled, Mom Says Son Claims He's a Cyborg, Uses Robotic Movements and Speech. And I actually know a few people that kind of use robotic movements and speech, aka my principal at Ocean View, Dr. Rasmussen. Whenever he talks, he literally sounds like a robot, and whenever he walks, he literally... Like, he walks like a robot. Like, I, I don't know what else to say. And he's very liberal, I'm assuming. He wears a mask everywhere he goes. I, I know, it's crazy. But enough with that, and let's get on to the video. And yes, those are all my liked videos that I liked recently. Just ignore them. Just please ignore them. Who is it? It's your mom. Enter. Okay, no one says enter. Okay. Maybe I do sometimes, but most people don't usually say enter. They would say, come in, or, yeah, come in. I, I can't think of anything else to say. Hey, Orin. Can I turn on the light? It's, it's a little dark in here, and I can't see. Huh? We prefer dark in here. What are you, non-binary? Ooh, I kind of like that, uh, kind of like that, uh... It's a kind of nice coat, and that's for sure. Very nice. I like the colors. Red, white, but no blue. So, you're not a patriot. Sorry. My son, Oren, thinks he's a cyborg from the year. Yo, hold up. Yo, what the hell is that? Did he do that? Because if so, that's pretty damn good. But yo, what the hell? He looks like a transgender. I'm not kidding. From the year 2050. Mother, just come down. Just come down. Listen, listen, we listen. Are receiving just come down. We are watching video. We are learning. Ooh, caught you red-handed. You're watching YouTube. He, he was literally like, we are watching vi We are learning. Or something like that. You, you know what I'm trying to do. Learning what? Learning about what? the future. Corin has robotic movements. Okay, why do you want to learn more about the future if you apparently claim that you live in the year 2050? Shouldn't there be enough technology or no because we have another horrible president over and over and over again? And it's robotic speech. It's a glitch. Like, he's a computer. Your intensity will be matched as we try to save you and everyone that we know. He talks in a collective, everything is we. He hasn't said I in... Either that, or maybe he's just, he's trying to come out, and he's just really scared too, which I, I can understand coming out as non-binary. It's, uh, it, it could be a very scary thing. Just look at the British guy that came out as a Korean Jin. Just, uh, uh, watch his video. It, it's, it's so weird and that's why it took him eight years to come out because it it's just weird no one does that that's not normal sure being gay lesbian all that that's perfectly fine but him being a non-binary korean jinn that is not normal and this guy is not normal either over a year we are alone in this no one else was chosen to do what we are doing we need to you know save the planet from sudden doom cyborgs bro machine bro what the hell is this dumb feature is this like some dumb feature from snapchat like yo so sweet what the hell and did he hear his mom talking like when she was doing an interview she literally claimed that he's trying to save the world from total destruction. Wouldn't the world already be in total destruction by then? Because we would literally be in World War Three. And hold on, I, I have to turn down this fan. It's so damn loud. But I gave birth to Oren, and he is flesh and blood. I also made lasagna downstairs, and I wanted to know if you could, you know, join us. No, you're not hungry. Thank you. Oren on the plane was astro traveling. Every time I turned around to check on him to make sure he was okay, he was 
Zoned up. Astro traveling. Astro traveling. Zoned up. He may actually be high on something. Have you ever thought of that? Like, he, he may be high on some serious drug like angel dust or bath salt or something like that. He could be seriously <laughs> up on drugs. To another dimension where he gets uh, instructions. Another dimension to get instructions. Actually, maybe he might be a schizophrenic from the higher beings to me it looks like he's sleeping there is an apocalypse in the future we have seen it in our dreams and in our visions i actually agree with him because everything that's going on in our country right now and all over the world if all this keeps going on then yeah the end of the world is near two years ago he graduated from nyu business school with a 3.9 gpa this isn't the young man that I saw walk across the stage when he graduated. He's changed. He wanted to come back home, and I told him, of course, uh -huh, right. with the understanding right. that he would get a job. From that point right. on, it just spiraled. We are still in that process of... Wow. Have you also ever thought that maybe his school, like, brainwashed him? NYU, that's New York University. New York is a very liberal state. And the professors at those colleges and universities are most likely very liberal. So maybe he got taught something very bad at his university that just changed him forever. Like, he'll never go back to normal. He'll never be the same. Gaining full employment. That was a year ago, honey. That was a year ago. Things do not happen overnight. He was not looking for work. Oren is on his computer. Yo, he's on his iPad. And, and you say he's on his computer all the time, but he's on his iPad. Here all day, and he very rarely comes down from his room. Welcome to our headquarters. I know that he's not a cyborg, but he believes he is here to save the planet. This is literally what Parker Anderson believes. Parker Anderson believes that he's not fully human. He's part something else, like a robot. He's part robot and part human. Just like Dylan and Eric when uh, right before they created the Combine shooting, they also believed that they are superior to our world's all humans. You say this has been going on for about two years. Yes. But when he's just around the house, mm -hmm. just hanging around, is he always in cyborg mode? He's always in cyborg mode. So he never just comes in? Yep, just like Dr. Rasmussen whenever he's doing those video announcements. Good morning, Seahawks. Good afternoon, Seahawks. Good evening, Seahawks. This is Dr. Rasmussen. <laughs> Sorry, trying to laugh like BC again. That is not normal. How he talks, that is not normal. And everything he does is also not normal either. And no. says, hey, Mom. No. In looking back, are there things that you recognize now with the benefit of hindsight where you saw atypical thinking or unusual behaviors or identifications when he was growing up? I, I never saw anything. I... Did you ever notice that in times of stress or uh, conflict that he would seem to withdraw or disassociate in some way? He started that once he came back home after college. There were certain expectations when he came home that I wanted him to uh, be a part of, uh, helping me around the house and taking out the garbage and helping me, you know, clean up and... And getting a job and paying bills and buying a car, all of that. Helping with groceries and he would just usually tell me that he's working, he's busy, and that he is on his computer and uh, sometimes would ask me to leave his room. But he would isolate. Yes. Wow, that is pretty crazy. That That is pretty crazy, that's for sure. Being on your computer for 20 hours a day, doing special research on how to basically save planet Earth from total destruction by, I don't know, the year 2100? Because he believes that this is 2050. Uh, let's see, when was this made? 2020, okay. He literally believes that the year 2020 is 2050. That's his mindset. His mindset is 2050 and his goal is to basically save the entire world and even the universe from total 
and catastrophic destruction by at least the year 2100 or something like that. It, it is crazy. I don't know why he does this kind of stuff. He, he could be mental. I mean, have you ever thought of that? Sorry, I keep saying have you ever thought of that so many times, but that's true. That's true. Have you ever thought of that, lady? Have you ever thought of that? Have you ever thought of that, Dr. Phil? He could be seriously mental. He would be in his room from early in the morning to four o'clock the next morning. He would be in his room working on, you know, whatever it is that he does on his computer. So you don't think he has a mental illness? No, not at all. So it if it's not a mental illness, what would motivate this kind of atypical behavior? Um, well, one of the things that he knew that I wanted him to do was find a job, and he hasn't done that. Uh -huh. And so, you know, if he can claim that he's a cyborg and so forth and not have to enter into... That's also true. He could be faking the entire thing so he doesn't have to get a job, which I'm not going to lie. That, that's pretty clever of him to do. But anyways, that's, that's all the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's very weird. I don't know why he would even do such a thing or what caused him to tone into this cyborg human creature thing. I don't know, but I'm not gonna lie. I watched a couple other videos of him where Dr. Phil is like interviewing both him and his mom and all that. And honestly, he seems pretty talented. He seems like he's a pretty smart guy with uh, his woes and just how he acts. But other than that, I mean, there's something seriously wrong with him. It's, it's not normal to act like a human cyborg every single day, going on your computer 20 hours a day to uh, experiment and to do research on how to save the world from total destruction. But yeah, that's, that's all I have to say about this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you have, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment and turn on notifications have an awesome day everyone